What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk, brought to you by me, inspired by Chili. I'm really glad you guys are here this morning. Uh, I got a message for all of you people who decided to tune into my channel that don't believe the way I believe, all right? You daggone heathens that don't um, believe in the Bible, don't have any faith. Uh, you guys that trust in human philosophy and yeah, you just have a totally, you, you have no faith in God and you have a totally different uh, belief system than I do. I got a message for you, man. If you don't believe in God, I totally get it. I totally get it. It's hard to believe some days. I want you to know that even me, and I've been serving the Lord for uh, going on 13 years now. I have days, man, especially when life gets crazy. I have days where I might wake up and I only have a shred of faith left. I only have enough faith in God left. And what is faith? Faith is, is the hope for things that are unseen, right? The hope for things that are unseen, so what we're looking forward to, um, what we choose to, to believe in. Now, some days I wake up, I only have enough faith just to maybe muster a prayer. And a lot of times that prayer may simply be, help me in my unbelief. Uh, this is something that I don't think a lot of Christians are probably talking about or, or admitting, but I think, and, and maybe I'm the only one, I don't know, but I'm going to tell you, it is hard to believe. There's a few reasons for that. One, it's hard to believe in God because we cannot fit the creator of the universe within the box of our own little human minds. If we could, he wouldn't be our creator, all right? If we could fit God within the box of our minds, understand uh, the nature of God, understand how all this happened, and uh, we could really comprehend it, it would be way easier. Well, at that point, it wouldn't even be faith, right? If we could comprehend it. But if we could do that, then we wouldn't be worshiping a God that was worth worshiping because he would essentially fit into the box of our mind. So that's one reason. Another reason it's hard to believe uh, day to day or hard to have faith day to day is because a lot of times we search, we search and we ask and we come to conclusions about how we believe. And for me as a Christian, that's searching scripture um, that's seeking God in prayer, and, and I come to a logical conclusion that what I believe and how I believe in God is the truth. Uh, you can actually arrive to that conclusion through through logic, and I know you guys will dispute that. But um, a lot of times we do that, but then life gets crazy. And we as humans, our uh, are, we are affected by the whims of our emotions, Right? So a lot of times when life gets crazy, we begin to doubt the things that we found to be true when we were in a good place, we could think clearly, and we came to the c conclusions that we came to. When it gets crazy, we forget about the things that we learned when things weren't crazy because we are highly influenced by the whims of our emotions. So those days that I wake up, and it's hard for me to believe in a God that is so far beyond my comprehension uh, already that it's, it's unfathom, unfathomable. Uh, <laughs> when I wake up those mornings, a lot of times I have to lean on the fact that, um, hey, I came to my faith and my belief um, through these logical conclusions that I've made based off of what scripture tells me, uh, based off of what creation shows me, uh, based off of what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me, and what I, the truth that I knew during the times when I was at peace is still true during times of chaos. And I have to lean on that, man. Ultimately, just to wrap this all up, I don't even believe that the, the human or the unregenerate human can believe in God in and of their own power. It's a really weird concept. I believe that Jesus Christ supplies our faith, our, our very ability to believe upon him. 
and to know that uh, he is the way, the truth, and the light, and the life that we all need. I know that's crazy to think about. I love you guys so much, man. Every one of you, even if you don't believe the way I believe. I appreciate you listening. And I respect your opinions. And hopefully we can grow together through this life. If you got anything out of this, it helps us tremendously if you go buy a hat and buy a t-shirt, man. Um, we appreciate you supporting 307 Project. And uh, my man Chili, that joker gets lazy when... He gets lazy and mad and mean when he ain't got no orders to pack. Keep that joker in the dungeon, man. We love you guys. Enough said.